President Trump getting heat from the mainstream media over holding a note card with points during his listening session yesterday saying, I hear you. Why this obsession? Media Research Center's Brent Bazell with more on that. Brent, I mean, you know, look, he brought all of those folks to the White House. It was very emotional what we saw, what we heard from those parents, from the students. And instead of the media focusing on that, they focus on this note card. Why? Because they don't care what, what Donald J. Trump or President Trump thinks about anything. They don't care what he does with anything. <clears throat> they care about only attacking Donald J. Trump. It's an obsession that the press corps has with him. You understand now why he has a, it's 91% of the coverage against Donald Trump is negative because they're looking for anything, anything at all to try to attack him on. Now, now let's, Trish, let's think about this for a second. Who doesn't use note cards? We all have used note cards. Every president has used a note card. Barack Obama spent eight years using teleprompters. I bet you right now, I can't see you, but you can see me. I bet you you have a note card on your desk. I don't desk. actually have a I note card, but looking. I do have a, a nice packet of research yeah. uh, with, with well, uh, I have, everything that has happened. But, it, yes. you know, I, I get it. But, you know, it, I, he, it did say I you, hear I'm, you. And, and, and I would say, in, in my defense, I... I haven't written down what my responses should be to you. So I'm going to tell you, Trish, I'm going to tell you what my note card is. I'm going to show you my note card. Can you see it? Kind of, yeah. If we zoom I'm telling in, Cavuto to send me money. <laughs> said, I'm telling Cavuto. <laughs> all right, I'll tell him you said that. <laughs> no, but you know, I, I get it. I mean, look, we all, it's, it's part of the business. Anytime you're up talking in front of a group of people or on camera like this, you have your research, you have your notes, you have your things that you've written down that you want to jog your memory on. Um, but the media is going after him because, well, they like it. They like to go after him. That has been their mission. That said, Brent, you know, this was an opportunity for them to focus, I would think, on what they want to focus on. This is an issue they've been passionate about, gun control. And yet, instead of focusing on that, they're focused on that piece of paper. And even if they weren't looking at that piece of paper, no matter what the president said, they would have attacked him on. Um, yeah. uh, the only thing that the president could say is, I'm having martial law tomorrow morning to disarm America of 200 million guns. <laughs> only then would the media be satisfied. <laughs> Otherwise, just, you know what, they're just going to attack him. There's nothing this man can say. I mean, it, it really has become uh, the comedy. It, it's, it's a form of comedy. It's like, a, it's like we're living in a Saturday Night Live skit. But it's no, no matter what he says, they attack him. Right? I mean, it has backfired. I mean, they're out there attacking him so much, people at some point, even those that maybe didn't like him so much, start to feel bad for him. Oh, absolutely. I mean, look again, look at the numbers. Look at the, at the respect for the press. Who would have thunk that there was some category that was below members of Congress in the respectability scale, with the exception, of course, of Fox <laughs> News? But, but, I mean, journalists have a black eye. Look, did you see what happened yesterday on CNN where a high school kid had showed he had more journalistic ethics than CNN when he refused to read their pre-scripted question that they gave him. He said he wouldn't do it. High school kids have got more journalistic ethics than CNN. Wow. I guess we're, we're kind of reaching a new low, right? I mean, the media has always had its leftist bias, but it feels as though during this presidency, it's gotten worse than ever before. Brent, it's... <laughs> Tell, tell Kabuto to send me money. Neil, you owe Brent money. <laughs> or, or no, you just want money. Send me money. Got I just it. Want money. All right, I'll tell him. I I'll just tell want him. money. Thank you so much, Brent Fazell. Good to see you.